Welcome to the Out Systems Creating a Custom Theme lesson. In this lesson, we'll cover the topics listed here, including how to change a theme and how to create custom themes. At the end of this lesson, there will be a demo which also covers how to define a new theme and reference a new theme. A theme contains the details for the visual representation of your application. Changing a theme changes how your application looks, and a theme can be applied to an entire application by setting it to be the home mobile module's default theme. It can also be applied to a UI flow, which will only influence the screens defined within that UI flow. Every module theme has a base theme and a style sheet. The base theme has the base definitions that the module theme will inherit and is non-editable. The style sheet has all of the CSS definitions of the theme and can be customizable. To change the theme of an application, you can add your own custom CSS to it including overriding CSS definitions inherited from the base theme. The Silk UI Mobile Theme Customizer enhances this customization experience by making it easier to create your CSS definitions with just a few mouse clicks. When you make changes to this module's theme style sheet, these changes will be applied locally to that application only. This is a very typical workflow when coding custom styles or using a theme customizer to create custom styles. There may be occasions, however, when you'd like to create a theme that you can share across multiple applications. For architectural reasons, this theme should be different from the one in the local application, and it should exist in its own module. The applications can then reference the theme to use it. Now that we've covered a few of the important concepts, let's take a look at how we can create a custom theme in the OutSystems platform. To get started in Service Studio, we'll click the New Application icon. This will open the new application window and allow us to choose the type of application that we're building. We can choose from web or mobile, and for this demo, we'll choose the mobile app option and then click the next button. On the next screen, we have the option to choose a template for the application. We'll choose the phone option and then click the next button again. In the final screen of the new application window, we can add a name and description for the application. For this demo, we'll use the name app theme and give it a short description. Next, we'll click the Upload Icon button and browse to select a custom icon for the application. Service Studio will pick up the colors from the application icon and apply them to the new app that you're creating. Finally, we'll click the Create App button to create the application. In the new application, we'll continue by creating a new module. To follow standard naming conventions, I'll change the module name to App Theme and then select the Blank Module option. Then click the Create Module button to create this new module in Service Studio. Now that the module has been created, you can see that it does not contain screens for the UI flows because of the blank module option that I chose. When creating a custom theme, we can build the theme from scratch or we can leverage some patterns and themes that have already been created. For this demonstration, we'll use some mobile patterns that already exist. To do this, I'll open the Manage Dependencies window and then search for mobile in the producer search field. Once I find the mobile patterns, I'll select it on the left and then on the right scroll all the way down until I see the themes. Then check the base theme and phone theme to add them as a dependency. Once they're checked, I'll go ahead and click the OK button. Now I'll open the themes of my application in Service Studio to verify that the mobile patterns are visible. Now we can begin to create our own custom theme. Right click on the themes folder and choose the add theme option. In the properties of this new theme, let's be consistent and also give it a name of app underscore theme. Next, we'll give it a short description and also make sure that the public property is set to yes. This will ensure that other modules will be able to share this module. For the base theme property, we'll use the options to select the phone theme. Now let's take a look at the style sheet window. Here you can see that we have the base theme and the phone theme tabs, but these tabs are not editable. We'll be working in the app underscore themes tab where we'll see all of our custom CSS. I'll switch to notepad where I have some custom CSS already created and then copy and paste this back over into our custom theme in Service Studio. Here you can see all of the CSS styles with the code coloring. Here at the top of the app theme CSS, 
you can see the style definitions have been carefully divided into sections with an index that makes it very easy to find what you're looking for in the code. Be sure to follow these and other CSS best practices as you create your custom theme CSS, and remember that you can use the Silk UI Mobile Theme Customizer to make this process a little bit easier. Once you've completed your work in CSS, click the OK button to close out the style sheet window, and then you can publish your new application to the OutSystem server. As a recap, here are the steps to define a new theme based on a Silk UI theme in OutSystems. We start by creating a new mobile application with a blank module. Then, we reference the Silk UI theme that we want to use as a base for our new theme. After that, we can add a new theme to the module and set its base theme property to the one referenced in the previous step. Finally, we add our CSS definition to the theme style sheet with the desired customizations. Having the new theme created, we can now reference it throughout our applications. We start by setting its public property to Yes. Then we can publish the module and reference it in the Manage Dependencies window of the applications that will use it.